feet you are in a wrong position champions stand by remaining on their feet that is the most stable position for the believer the moment you remain on your knees you have gained stability you don't fall when you're on your knees you only fall when you are standing on your feet self-examination now we get to the last and the final key this wraps up my assignment prophetic intervention the final key oh Jesus the final key to administering deliverance bringing men who have found themselves in all kinds of calamities spiritual calamities ministerial calamities marital calamities health calamities please hear me I speak as one sent by God the secret to coming out of calamities is that beyond the prayer you pray for yourself give us Philippians chapter 1 the scripture Philippians chapter 1 and verse 19 someone will have to pray for you this shall turn to my salvation not through my prayers through your prayers even if you are a midwife the day you want to deliver you must submit to another midwife you must submit to another person saying you are a pregnant consultant does not give you the grace to deliver with respect to delivery you are a patient you have to lie down and allow probably someone who was once your student in the university to midwife that delivery are we together now yes. the prophetic is a mysterious spiritual force that is responsible for putting a full stop I have watched with shock and wonder how prophetic declarations with understanding can bring men out of the tragic situations tragic situations one of the greatest blessings in my life every time I have the opportunity to meet our fathers I look forward to when they speak over my life no a discussion that does not concern me is not my business I'm a young man I'm a son relative to them both in the spirit in experience and in ministry I would not be foolish to invite myself to conversations that are beyond my level I await with humility and patient from the residue of their covenant with God blood dripping on the altar even if it's five minutes my please please would you place your hand and say something to my destiny and sometimes with childlike simplicity they bless they bless hmm. yes ago I was in a particular nation and I got to hear that one of our fathers of faith was there and I called and said please I have to go and greet daddy I have to go and greet mommy I finished from a powerful crusade but I said that is a man of God he has finished I quickly did the needful and found my way there I had the opportunity I went there we exchanged pleasantries joked and played but I knew that you see the less is blessed of the greater from a powerful crusade many of us who go as colleagues I'm a man of God too and receive nothing and only waste your time I got there and he spoke over my life next level next level next level this is a system God created it's not a system he found he created it by himself when there was darkness Genesis chapter 1 verse 2 the first thing that began the process of recreation was a prophetic word let there be light light be hallelujah when you find yourself in a hole ladies and gentlemen beyond your personal prayer beyond your personal altar God designed systems within the kingdom that it would take others coming in on the strength of the prophetic advantage and their covenant with God to bring you out of it hallelujah praise the name of the Lord the prophetic prophetic intervention is one of the mysterious ways that God brings men out Isaiah 42 and verse 22 I want to speak to your life now I'm telling you I already sense a very strong anointing but this is a people robbed and spoiled they 
are all of them snared in holes and they are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey and none delivereth for a spoil and none saith restore. 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 There must be a prophetic voice. Alas, master, I hope you know the young boys were also prophets in training. They were already being built to be prophets. But if that guy arrogantly said, don't worry, Elisha, you have taught me the dynamics of speaking. I will speak to the sea. That axe head would have gone down there. I don't know what happened that the sons of the prophet, the husband of the widow that died, Elisha was still in town. That prophet did not need to die in death. I'm sure it was depression, mental health, embarrassment that destroyed that man and he died. The woman said, I will not make my husband's mistake. And she went to the prophet. I don't know what to do, but I take responsibility. My husband died a prophet. There, he was helping others, but he did not open up himself for another prophet to help him. Now two of my children are about to go. And Elisha said, you have done well, come. There will always be a prophetic instruction. What do you have in your house? Nothing except a cruise of oil. He said, that's enough. Since you have honored the prophetic, go back. That same house, that same vessel, borrow vessels. Do you know I believe that her ability to even get the vessels was part of the prophetic advantage. If she had gone to look for vessels, she would not find it because no one was willing to help her. When God, through the instrumentality of the prophetic, I will always want to say that there is the prophetic office, there is the gift of prophecy, and there is the operation of prophecy. There are three different things. There are people called into the office of a prophet who are not yet matured enough by training, by grace, and by release to prophesy. Just because you are called into the office of a prophet does not give you the credence to start speaking over men and nations. No. There is the gift of prophecy that can come on any believer and you perform prophetic tasks. Are we together? But you may not be a prophet. You are just a healthy believer who, have, who has opened up your spirit. Then there is the operation of the prophetic, which is a product of a sound understanding of scripture. Because the Bible has a prophetic character. And when you hide the word in your heart, it makes you prophetic. So you don't have to be a prophet. But based on the authority of scripture, you can engage it with understanding. The greatest way to manifest the prophetic is to have scripture resident within your heart and then the engracing of the spirit that enables you to manifest the prophetic. I have watched the lives of people. I wish you had time, honestly, to have watched the testimonies from our workers retreat just over the weekend in the United Kingdom phenomenal testimonies phenomenal testimonies the testimonies we share here in koinonia with with every sense of humility believe me they are not up to 120th the testimonies being registered we have to work with time the prophetic i've had people speak over my life and even as a man of God, with a bit of an experience in the things of the Spirit, I have marveled and wondered at the way things have shifted in my life. Hallelujah. When it was time for a global expansion, I shared it with one of our fathers and he prayed and he said, in the name of Jesus, that may the Lord bring ease and bring expansion and that your voice be heard and known everywhere. You will receive it by faith and that is it. For someone here, God brought you to church because if God does not help you prophetically, the trouble that is on you now, the shame that will come on your life will be a memorial and God wants to step in quickly. Prophetic. Oh.